We're here at Propeller uh, for the other show, which is a duo show. Yeah. Duo tang. Uh, it's not, kind of, a duo tang. not a duo tang. Uh, but, pas de deux. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Ooh la la. Uh, Joseph Muscat and Holly Wheatcroft. And you know, uh, if I, if like a Vulcan ship landed on Earth for first contact and I walked into it, this is what I expect the bridge control to look like. <laughs> just a bunch of levers and uh, objects that are trying to tell you something but you're probably going to crash the ship anyway so uh, can you tell us a little bit about what their their sort of it's not really folk art but it's not like wind sort of mill art but it's no it, it's it's I mean it's mixed media at its finest I mean you have these great works by Holly which are the little the the bands of wood on these um on these posts and they're designed to actually be moved so you know which is great she's actually whoa, whoa the ship is tilting right <laughs> <laughs> um and then you got joseph that uses a lot more natural materials uses stones and lenses you see he does a lot of houses in his work which were originally part of a series he was planning on doing an installation in a park oh. and doing um these little house pieces each one per day for 365 days the ones that you can see the ones right behind you, over there, were the ones that he was going to be making into a larger installation. You know, I like his work because they're really designed to uh, survive uh, minor floods. Absolutely. When yeah. in doubt, Hurricane Katrina will not get you. And that's why insurance companies like his art. Exactly. Okay. They don't, they don't have to pay half out. <laughs> and uh, a lot of the, the works that you see of uh, Holly's are really much meant to kind of invoke this idea of mechanical machinery combined with kind of found material in wood. This piece here is actually meant to evoke um, those maple pinwheels that fall during the fall. Oh, so right. it's supposed to track yeah. the movement. And so it's that same kind of idea. You have a lot of references to the wood, to spaces and structures. That's why houses as well as naturally found structures. You'll see one over there that kind of resembles Stonehenge. <laughs> and so there's a lot of interplay going on. Um, the works really lend themselves nicely to each other. They kind of talk to each other and let you kind of see them in different ways rather than just looking you know, at the I one. think artists do a lot in common with, uh, with the Druids because, you know, often people don't know who they are or what they're doing, but their legacy lives on. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And it's great to have this much sculpture world work because, you know, you don't really... Typically, you walk to the space, you got white walls and some paintings, but here, you know, you can really kind of walk around and see where they are, and it's really nice to have them so accessible. You can go up to them, you can touch them. Um, that one's, well, I, I won't go into the psychoanalytic uh, thing with that one, but um, I want to ask you a question as a, as in your capacity as a, as an art, art smarty person and assistant curator. White space is so important. Isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. Um, you know, a lot of galleries are doing color. Uh, we, we really haven't gone in that room for a while. But, you know, what's great about the white space, as intimidating as it feels to some people, you can do, it's whatever you want it to be. Yep. You, you know, you can have stuff hanging off the ceiling and with a white wall, it can really be whatever you want it well, to theaters, be. Well, theaters painted black, uh, galleries painted typically white. Mm -hmm. Never be afraid of the white walls. And if you really, not gonna eat you. what they actually is, is, is a famous painting of a polar bear in a blizzard uh, covering its <laughs> nose and eyes. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. And then the, the, the galleries evolved from, from that one painting. Exactly. All right. So well, thanks. Thanks very much. Thanks again.